Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with the Adventures of the Memory Makers. Today we're up in our woods camping at our campsite. We've got our ARB awning set up with our ARB annex room and if you follow the channel you know that we've done a lot of modifications to our ARB annex room. If you're new to the channel you, know, you might want to check those out because we've done a lot of neat things to this room. That said, I, one of the mods that we did, one of the very first mods we did to it was we attached this room to our camper so we have a sealed environment now in the room we can go to and from the camper you know without you know having to open doors or anything we just leave doors open so th that's a, a really awesome mod and i've started doing those mods for other people that don't have the capabilities to do it or, or just don't think they could do it so or don't want to do it or don't want to do it but they really want the mod <laughs> <laughs> so that means that i handle these rooms a lot on some of them, you know, especially ones that I haven't done before on maybe a different style camper or a different style room, I may have this room on and off that track two dozen times. And one thing that's frustrated me over the last year or so of these rooms is putting this up by myself. And if you've ever put one of these up by myself or by yourself, then you know what I'm talking about. You're trying to push that bolt rope through that Keter slot on the, the frame rail that attaches to the camper. You know, you got to push a little bit, go the other end, pull a little bit, go back, push some more. I mean, it's just, it's frustrating, especially when you do it two dozen times. So I'm proud to say that I found a way to fix that. I just feel stupid that it took me a year to figure it out. <laughs> we have sailboats. We have two sailboats. And it dawned on me finally that essentially mounting this room to that track is the same as running a sail up a mast or a furling strip on your head sail of a sailboat. Once that dawned on me that that's essentially the same thing, then it became a very simple fix. And this is a really simple mod that I encourage everyone to do. And this is something that even the manufacturers should probably do from the factory once they see this. It essentially takes this 20 foot piece of, I'm using paracord, just lightweight line, and makes the installation of this room onto that track so much easier. And this mod is so new, we don't even have it yet on ours. I've put it on a customer's um, 12SK that I'm working on and have been using it nonstop, taking his on and off as I do that mod. And I gotta tell you, it is a game changer when it comes to installing this room on your camper. So let me drop our room down real quick. We're gonna put this mod on our camper and I'll show you how easy it is to do and how big of a difference it makes. So this is the issue that I have, and probably everyone that has one of these struggles with as well. You're essentially trying to push rope. It's solid rope, but they call it a bolt rope, and it goes in this Keter slot in this slit tube on the underside of your ARB room, or your Napa Maxi Track, or your Iron Man. They all essentially use the same style of attachment for their rooms. So what the issue is, is as you start feeding this in the, the slot, you know, I can pull with my left hand here to a certain point. But then once it gets out to that point, now all of a sudden I'm just trying to push it. And it gets tight, you know, and you'll get caught on things. You know, and you just don't have any way. So that means I got to turn around. I got to go around the room. I got to redo that. Pull a little bit. You can't pull it from that end and try to pull it through because this gets caught down in this track. You'll hear this funny ripping and tearing noise. It's a bad <laughs> thing. You don't want to hear that. <clears throat> so... What I'm going to do is we're going to attach a halyard to this ARB room right here at the, the end of this material. What's a halyard? So a halyard is the line on a sailboat that raises a sail. So it's just simply a, you know, let's, let's assume this is the top of a sail on a sailboat. There would be a point here to attach a halyard line to, and you would run that up to the top of your mast. You'd feed your your bolt rope into the slot in the back of your mast and you would pull it up as you feed it in the slot. The only difference between that and this is a mast is vertical, this is horizontal. So once that, you know, the light bulb went off over top of my head, I walked over to the wall, I beat my head against it several times because I've been fighting this for over a year now and it just makes it so much simpler. So let me get the tools that we're going to need. I'll show you what it takes to do this and we're going to do it right now to ours. So like I said earlier, we're actually up here in our 
campsite in the woods camping right now, so I, I don't have a workbench or anything to work off of. So I'm gonna do it just right here on the ground. I've got a piece of wood here that I'm gonna use as a block to do everything on. And what we're gonna do is install a grommet, a 3 8 inch grommet in this material right here at the back of the, the bolt rope attachment point. And that's gonna give us a place to attach our halyard without just going right through the material itself, reinforce it, and just make it a lot stronger. Can I see the grommet? Just yes. so everybody okay. knows exactly what that is. So the grommet is a two piece brass grommet. And we'll put a link to a real simple kit on Amazon so that you can get these, but very simple to do. And I'll show you how easy they are here. To install this grommet, it's really simple. Typically the kits come with a block of wood and a cutter. And what we're gonna do is position our material right here over that block of wood. And we're gonna put our cutter right there and just take a hammer. This is the first one I grabbed walking out of the shop today. So we're gonna use it. Just drive that down a couple times. And you'll see it takes a nice little perfect circle right out of the material right there. So it just cuts a nice neat hole in it. So we can put our cutter to the side now. And now what we've got is a rolling die. And what we're gonna do is put that part of the grommet in the die. We're gonna take our material and put it over that right there. And then slip the, the collar ring over top of that part sticking through the material. I think I got it. Yep. And now we've got our, so this would be the anvil, this would be the, the die right here. And what this is gonna do is when you drive this down in here, it's gonna roll the edge of that brass tube sticking up through the collar right there down and lock it in place. So we're gonna put that on there. We're gonna hit it a few times without hitting the camera. Or your thumb. Like that would ever happen. <laughs> and there we go. We've got a nice brass grommet installed that gives us a nice strong point to attach our halyard line to, which I put somewhere and I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> so. so I found the missing line that we're gonna use for our halyard here and I'm gonna use a bowling knot to attach this. You could probably do a double overhand knot, but what you wanna do is just attach this line to your grommet and you wanna keep your knot kind of tight to the material. You don't want your knot you know, five or six inches away from it because that's gonna prevent you from pulling it all the way back. But I'm gonna flip this around real quick. Do a quick bowling knot. And the reason I'm gonna use a bowling knot is if I ever wanna take this off, I can easily untie it. Um, but we're gonna come through the hole. I don't know what the deal is with my fingers today, but they just aren't wanting to work. Go around behind this. Back through there. There we go. Hold those, pull it all tight. There we go. So now we got you know a bowling knot right there. I can easily undo that knot if I want to take this off. Now to get this to work, we're gonna find the, the other end of it. You can just take your, your roof and, or your room and throw it on the floor there. We're going to swing around. And for this to work, you need a pivot point. On the boat, you'll have like a, a, you know, a sheath at the top. What we're going to use here is this back lower arm attachment point as our pivot point. So I'm going to stick this through there. I'm not sure I can get a good... Yeah, probably not, but push that out like this. So you put that behind the end of that? Yep. Yeah, you have the camera there and I'll yeah. take it up there and show you. So there you can see the line goes behind this, comes out on the back side of it. And that is our pivot point for this line. And we're gonna show you how easy this is to do it now. So we're gonna take this line, pull most of it through. <clears throat> so we put the halyard on the aft end or the back end of the room. So this is the part that goes in the track first. So I'm gonna step up here. I kinda got my line in my hand there. So you can see it's in my left hand. And you're just gonna start off like you normally do. You're gonna start feeding your bolt rope into that track. And as you go, you just pull the slack with your left hand. So essentially, this, this would be Cindy's job <laughs> when we were at camp. She'd be down there pulling this that way while I'm feeding it this way. Don't you mean giving directions and having a cocktail? That's yeah. normally my job. That's normally your job, yeah. <laughs> so you can see I went past that point that I couldn't go past before. You know, right now I'm way past that and I didn't even have to stop and go readjust. Now typically what I find is I have to stop one time pretty close right there at the end to readjust the room at the fender. 
because you don't want to be pulling the room with your halyard line. You just want to be taking that slack up as you go. So once you feel some tension start to build about right there, I just stop, drop the line, walk around and readjust right here at the fender. There we go. Get everything lined back up. And now I can just take my line back with me. Finish up and you're done. It, it's that simple now. That has saved me on this one camper that I've been doing because it's a new camper that I haven't done before and it's quite a bit different than the others. I have had that room on and off countless times. You know why I make the mod to it. I can't tell you how much time this has saved me because before I would have to stop two and three, sometimes four times to get everything out of line, pull a little bit, come back, feed a little bit. Now it's a simple, you know, pull until you feel the tension, stop, go take care of your fender and then pull it the rest of the way through. It, it's just so simple. And I can leave this line attached. You know, I'll go put up my zipper end over here, just leave the, the line up on top of the room. I don't ever plan on taking that line off, to be honest with you. It's just gonna stay on there. So every time we take it out of the bag, we go to put it up, I'll just put the line back behind the pivot point over there on the arm, and that's it. I mean, it's just so simple. To... Okay, now I have a question about the knot that you, what was it called, a bowlin? A bowlin knot, yeah. All right. Does now that's really that? disappointing, Cindy. How many sailboats do we have? <laughs> um, two. Two. <laughs> how many knots are on that boat? <laughs> how many times have you tried to teach me how to tie different knots? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. So, so it ain't gonna stick. It's not gonna stick. So I, I imagine a double overhand knot. You know, just a simple you know knot Would that everybody can tie. As, okay. And you could probably do that as well. It's just if you ever go to untie it, you know, you're gonna be sitting there fiddling with it for a while. Whereas the bowling. It, it unties very easily. Well, I just wouldn't want somebody to think, well, I don't know how to do that knot, so maybe this is not a modification I can do. Just tie a knot. Okay. <laughs> it That's doesn't what, matter. I just want to yeah. just make, If you do a knot, a double, uh, if you do an overhand knot, make sure to double it. That way it doesn't come undone on you when, you, when you're sure. pulling it down through there. But okay. we're going to have to work on the knots again, aren't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> That's another whole other video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. Oh boy. But, you know, if you have one of these rooms, you know, it doesn't matter if it's ARB, Iron Man, you know, any of them, they all attach essentially the same way. And if you do this by yourself, then you know the frustration that they cause by getting hung up and having to go feed it back through. You know, some of them go through better than others. You know, ours is pretty well worn in. You know, it slides better than a brand new one does. Um, but had I been... Had I done this from the beginning, I can't tell you how much time this would have saved me in frustration. So, super simple mod. Highly recommend you do it if you've got one of these rooms. You know, until the next time, you know, happy camping. See you soon.